push this back because it's gonna be BS. What is up, I'm a let's it's me, I'm Jane, and I'm a Jane TV, and yes, it's a different time. You can see a little sunshine. Normally, I will do this late at night because I don't know, I prefer, but yeah, I closed the curtain because it was too sunny and it's too bright, and it's just it just burns my head like the back of my head. I can't stand it, so yeah. So <clears throat> today, we're going to do a reaction on AB6 Dehui. Yes. I know who Dehui is because Dehui was was one of the members, former members of 101. So he came up. So I just realized that I think this year um, their record label is letting all of the members of AB6 to promote their solo songs this year because last, I think on I think it's Thursday. On Thursday I reacted to one of the members. Oh shit, what was his name? fuck oh damn I, I, I forgot his name yeah oh what was your name oh let me just look sorry I'm still trying to remember I can remember his face but his name dude this is I hate myself I actually do hate myself because I, I just don't like to forget stuff John Woon, that's his name, John Woon. Had to look up. Yeah, it's a bit of cheating, but I'm still not familiar with their name, so I kind of forget. So I need to know John Woon, John Woon, John Woon. Okay, memorize that name. Memorize, 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 memorize. <laughs> Sorry. So I know Dehui, obviously, because he has. You all know what he looks like. So, so Dehui has come up with his. I think this is going to be his debut. Yeah, this is his debut song, right? And it's called Rose, Set and Kiss. Would there be any BS? Oh god, I hope not. But you never know. This is going to be another bed song just like the other one. Just like uh, Jungmoon. So we're going to do EB6, uh, Dehui, Rose, Set and Kiss. Three, two, one, go, go. start singing thank you very good very interesting intro all English did that wait I don't know I wasn't really familiar of course I'm not that nah, super expert on on um, 101 I only know their songs but I don't know like the members personally apart from Min Hyun because he's the only one and Kan Dan Yu no did Kandani speak English? No, I don't remember, but yeah, let me down in the comments down below. But I think Mini Hyun is because obviously New East and I've been in K-pop for a long time. So yeah, that's the only one I can say that I'm familiar with, but the rest of the members I don't know much. But I'm not really sure if Dehui grew up in the US or was he born in the US? Or he just simply learnt in Korea. So Guys, Amulets, please comment down below if that's the case. Yes, because you know, sometimes I like to learn new things about members that maybe I'm not really familiar with. So with that being said, we're just going to continue. Sorry if I'm scratching, it's annoying. For some reason, it's itchy. I love this scenery, it's all red. It's like the opposite to Jung Moon's uh, moon dance. Mm. Sorry, I've still got food stuck in my teeth. 
but it's gone now. Oh, yes. Oh, this is sassy. But it might go, it might, it might turn into 180. Yeah, this is very sassy. This is sassy. I live for this, actually. It's like he's voguing. Hold on, hold it. He's whispering. He's whispering. He's whispering road sent kiss. Why? Why are you doing this to me? No. No. <laughs> I just want it just just can't you just talk like it like this, like normal? But do you have to whisper? <sighs> okay. He is so handsome. He's really handsome. He came a long way from from coming up from a program like such as Produce One One before it got corrupted. Fam, he is he is sure making sure making a statement with his booty, his bum, that, that ass though. I just realised he's got stains on his shirt at the jet blazer. There is, it looks so pretty. Are they fake or are they actually real? He's saying he's going from 19 to 20, so this means like he's going, to, he's going from being a young boy to a man. I live for this. So I guess the song is about him maturing as a young man instead of going from a boy to a man. That is interesting. This song is basically him growing up. Well, he did start quite young when he was in British One One. He was how old was he when he started? He was like 17, 18, right? When he was in Produce One One off Perils, he was a lot younger. Oh, I love this! Yes, very sassy. I live for sassy Dehui. That was. That was art. That was art. That was a living art. That was 100% a living art. That was just very aesthetic, very not too colorful. It's just it's just simple, like simple color. Like and the the red the red background, like the whole like the scenery of the redness, the red light. It reminded me of um, you know songs like um, groups like you know. Like Vix with their, what's it called again? Was it Shangri-La? Yeah, Shangri-La. Uh, some parts. Uh, definitely reminded me of um, NCTU. <laughs> yes, this first song, that one. And it wasn't Boss. Oh, shoot. What's it called? The Seven Cents. Yeah, the Seven Cents was the, they used the red back, the red, um, light lighting to it um and i think if i'm correct fx did it as well for red light so yes that was very creative that was amazing it was colorful it was just just simple the roses look i don't know if it's real or they were fake please comment if you want to comment Please do. If you don't, you don't have to. 
if you think I'm dumb then don't say anything so so with that yeah uh, it's 10 out of 10 because this this was sassy and what I got from this music video it gave me off of him maturing into from from being a boy to a man like he's going to be in that journey and becoming an adult and becoming a, a mature guy young man to you know it's very interesting to see probably that's what I got I mean that's just my my eyes and my interpretation especially especially the lyrics like the one point he keeps saying uh from 19 to 20 so obviously when you hit 20 you're no longer that teenager you're no longer that child anymore you're just basically an adult 100% utterly and completely an adult compared to someone in the oh sorry I'm just looking at my friend down here it's fine okay so yeah it's interesting. I, I really enjoy seeing so many new things, new things in K-pop, and yeah. Oh, this is old one. Okay. I really, I, I did enjoy watching them. It was very watching him dance because it's, it's very sexy. It is sexy, but at the same time, very sassy. So. It had a lot of sass so I like that and I like the fact that he is demonstrating that yes he's growing up he's no longer a little boy so I think this is will be a message a clear message to netizens stop treating idols as babies because they're not anymore Jong Hyun oh not Jong Hyun Chungkook from BTS he's a man Dehui is a man Majority of Vix and majority of God Seven, they're all men, they're no longer kids. Even big groups like Seventeen, they yes, they all started as teenagers, but they now surpass that age. They're all becoming adults. They're not gonna go backwards to become a baby, like a month or a day year old made baby. They they're just in their twenties, twenty something year old men. And yeah, I think Personally, this is also a great message coming from Dehui saying, like, yes, I'm no longer, as a, I'm letting fans know, I'm letting everyone know, I am a man now. Don't treat me as a child, I'm a man. I am a man. So with that being said, I give it a 10 out of 10. That's the message I got from this and the impression I got. So if you have any thoughts and any opinion of what you thought of of having thoughts on this music video please share it down on the comments down below so with that being said i love you all and you're on everyone and sarang here